we transformed this ceiling into this. Hi, my name is Koriwa. In this video, I'm going to showcase the ceilings and walls of the house that I've been building in Ghana. If, been, if you've been following my journey, you know that I've been building in Ghana. I am currently in Ghana. Woohoo! <laughs> and I'm going to take you through to see what we've done with our ceilings and walls with POP designs and electrical work. So, let's go. As you open the door to the property, you step into the main entryway or hallway or foyer. And this is the lighting that we've done here. This is what greets you upon opening the doors. We've got the down lights and some string lights or rope lights as they call it up all the way in the entryway. And then to your right of the entryway is the first living area or lounge in here we've got minimal pop designs just the corner molding and flat surfaces and we've got these um down lights and beautiful main light in the middle and as you walk down to you walk down to the end of the hallway is this london place this is where so when this video was shot this house is not finished uh, at all but this is where the hallway table will be and you can see we've got this beautiful pop design on the wall and beautiful chandelier if that's what's called uh, up at the london at the end of the entry way but before you get to this point on your right hand side after the uh first lounge is the visitor's uh toilet and um this is what we've got going here some wall lights some down lights where the cabinets are gonna go two smaller down lights where the cabinets are gonna go and these are uh, two big lighting that really lights up the place and makes the place look really airy it's a small um, room but it looks really open and airy so moving on we go to the main living area and here we've got a lot of lights going on uh, we don't have all of the lights on at one time we've got big down lights small down lights that light up the tv wall and we've got um the main fun light <laughs> uh in the in the middle so as you can see all the lights don't go on and off at once we've got different switches for each of the different lighting that we've got going on here just to save electricity because realistically you're not going to have all of these lights on at one at any one time but um yeah it's this is what we've got going on here and the strings that you see the the cables that you see hanging up in the ceiling that's where the um, speakers are gonna go that's not been fitted yet but um, that's we've got um, speakers in the ceiling cuz I like my music so um, yeah that's those are the speakers now these lights these retractable uh, fan lights uh, shout out to Ashanti Queen I saw it from her video um, and they're really beautiful let me know in the comment section below what you think about these retractable lights and if you haven't done so already kindly subscribe to the channel okay so moving on to the steady nook which is just off the living area where the kids have would have their computer there's cabinetry that hasn't been done there yet but we've got two separate lights going on there as well and minimal um pop designs as you can see in the living areas i've got really minimal pop designs now this wall on the right here this wall with lights and this is pop partition as well this wall sort of partitions the dining area from the living room area and initially i was going to do that partition design with wood but the carpenter sort of dis uh, disappointed me and the pop guy his name is moses i'll introduce him at the end of the video he did that partition so this is the dining hall 
or dining room i've gone with these three pendant or hanging light and they are so beautiful really the video doesn't do justice to the ceiling it's really really beautiful in here with all the lighting you know the led lighting that goes around the pop and the little uh, down lights it just came together really beautifully so as you're watching this video just it's this video is about the lights and the pop designs on the ceiling and on the wall so this here as i said is the partition um that partitions the dining room um this is the led lighting but on the wall we've got a partition and that is pop uh that's done with pop and it's really beautiful and we've got some lights going on in there the electrician and the pop guy they worked really well together to bring you know what i wanted to life um moving from the dining area this here is the kitchen in the kitchen the design was really simple just a little bit of uh pop corner molding sort of thing going on and then these simple lights unfortunately the kitchen was turned out to be the kitchen turned out to be really really hot when we were cooking it's really spacious but it's really hot and stifling so i added in two fans not one but two fans in the kitchen uh just so that it becomes bearable to cook so these string lights in the kitchen as well uh, are the um, speakers uh, uh, that are going to go up in there uh, like i said cooking music you know they go hand in hand <clears throat> excuse me they go hand in hand so yep so moving away from the dining the living area back to the london in the entry way we're going to the bedroom side of the house and this is the corridor right in front of all of the bedrooms and the main bathroom and all of that on here to not too much of pop just the corner molding and then these down lights and uh, in the kids bedrooms they looked for their own designs what they each of one of them wanted in their room so you can see this is a kid inspired uh, bedroom that was one and this is another also kid inspired he wanted a square a thingy with a circle and you know the light that changes color so we gave them that and the same happens in the third kids uh, bedroom they all, he, uh, he also has um, his kid inspired design but let me take you to the master bedroom this is the master bedroom and i so 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 love what the pop and electrician guys did to the ceiling i've all along the house i've gone for simple pop designs because that is what i wanted but in the bedroom i wanted something a little bit extra um to what i'd normally go for and i'm very happy with how it turned out they actually wanted me to do this in the living area and then i resisted i said no just put it in uh, the master bedroom and i'm happy that i did it's really beautiful especially when you have you know when you're lying on the bed and you only have the uh, string lights going around it's really beautiful they've done a really good job here and then uh i i also decided to go for a black uh ceiling fan in in this room just you know to contrast all the white that is going on in there and it also uh works really work with uh, works really well with my feature wall which is in this particular room so i really really love how the ceilings and the walls turned out uh in this house and i'm so so glad that i chose the people that actually did this work and i'm happy to give their contacts to you and to recommend them to you so that is what i'm going to be doing right this minute okay so fam this is the gentleman mr emmanuel he and his team they are the ones who've done the he's an electrician and he's the one who's done all of the lights in this house and as you can see it's beautiful beautiful it's really well done he knows his job and i'd highly highly recommend him so if you are building in ghana anywhere in ghana and you want the best of the best this is the gentleman um for the job so mr Ham, Emmanuel, you can tell us your name and how uh, viewers can contact you hello my name is Emmanuel uh, Ham from ham electricals uh, my telephone number is 
If you're calling from outside, plus 233-0240-940-226. If you're calling from Ghana, you can go straight forward to 0240-940-226. We do electric cars, house wiring, hotels, filling station, whatever concerning electric cars we are ready to do for you. I have some of my workers here with me. You can see they have a very bright energy and it's my turn. We all work together as a team. Some are not here yet, but if you contact me, you will see more of my workers. Okay, so can you give us your number again? My number is... Just the Ghana one. The Ghana one is 0240-940-226. My number is intact. You can call me anytime, anywhere, even in the midnight. I'm ready to pick it up. Yeah, and what I did, as you know, when I was doing my electricals, I wasn't in the country, but um, we communicated through WhatsApp, and you can send him pictures of what you want, and he's sure to deliver. So I would highly, highly recommend Mr. Halm, Emmanuel Halm, and his team. They've done a fantastic job. So thank you very much for coming on and giving us your uh, details. And guys, be sure to call Mr. Halm and his team. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. And as I said, this is Moses. He's the one who did the lovely POP ceiling in the house. He is extra, extra good. So Moses doesn't speak English, but you can communicate with him through pictures. If you send him what you want through WhatsApp, he will do exactly that for you. So um, get in touch with him. Um, he speaks French and ever. Right, um, he speaks tree as well, and he can understand whatever you. So if you can speak tree, you can communicate with him. Um, but his POP, his work is excellent. I'm really happy with what he's done uh, in my house. So I would highly, highly rec recommend him as well. So Moses, can you give us your telephone number? How can we contact you? Zero five four one four one zero nine eight four. Again. Zero five four one four one zero nine eight four. Okay, so that's Moses' number. I'll leave both Moses' and Mr. Helm's numbers in the description box below. So be sure to go there, get the numbers, and contact these guys. Look, I'm telling you, you can't go wrong with Emmanuel and Moses. They do lovely, lovely jobs. So let me know in the comments below if you like what I've done with the house. What would you do differently? What would you have preferred that I'd done? Uh, what do you very much like about this house? POP designs, the pillars on the walls, the electrical work and all of that. Uh, let me know in the comment section below and I will see you in the next video.